Greetings! This devotion is for the 14th of August. The reading for this day is from the 14th chapter of Acts, verses 19 through 28. But the Jews came there from Antioch and Iconium, and won over the crowds, and then they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples surrounded him, he got up and went into the city, and the next day went on with Barnabas and to Derbe. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and made many disciples, they returned to Lystra and then on to Iconium and Antioch. There they strengthened the souls of the disciples and encouraged them to continue in the faith, saying, It is through many persecutions that we must enter the kingdom of God. And after they had appointed elders for them in each church with prayer and fasting, they entrusted them to the Lord in whom they had come to believe. When they passed through Pisidia and came to Pamphylia, when they had spoken the word to Perga, they went down to Attila. From there they sailed back to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work that they had completed. When they arrived, they called the church together and related all that God had done with them and how he had opened a door of faith for the Gentiles. And they stayed there with the disciples for some time. So, in these short verses, we've got a lot happening, don't we? Paul is stoned, almost dead. He recovers. He preaches, still preaching Jesus. He returns even to the city of Antioch, where this came from in the first place, um, more, than, more than once, right? Now, we don't face stoning. Uh, like we, we've got a very strong piece here in how important the proclamation of the word is. And, and that, that becomes an obvious thing for us. It, um, it, it's a tough thing for us to do, but it is our call. Now we don't face stoning, as I said, but we do face people who think the church isn't that important or isn't relevant or whatever. Certainly, society is moving more away from church than the other way. And sometimes, even in our own family, we have people who have walked away to our, to our own frustration. Church's wit Paul's witness here says a few things. One, we can't run from the challenges of sharing the word. Even, even if that means to people who think the gospel doesn't matter. They still matter. Those people still do. Remember, Paul went back to Antioch multiple times, even after a group there tried to kill him. We can never stop talking about the gospel. My gracious, if you look at this piece in, in, in the text... Paul over and over and over again, right? Went to this city and then to this city and then to this city. He, he never put it down. And vacations matter. Breaks matter. Time away matters. At the end of all of this, he hung out and he took rest. Take care of yourselves and take the breaks and the vacations that you need. Let us pray. Dear Lord, Heavenly God, <clears throat> we know that proclaiming the gospel is and can be a difficult thing. It can, it can be something that people even don't want to hear. But dear God, give us strength to always be bold about our proclamation. Helping us to entrust the people we care about to your spirit. Praying always for them. 
always loving them and knowing when to move on. And dear God, in, in this time when it is even more difficult to get away or go somewhere where we would have gone, Help us to find ways to take rest, to, to rest our minds, to rest our souls, that we might have vacation and feel renewed. We pray all these things to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.